Are we good? We good? We good? We good. Blair, my phone. <laughs> Where's my phone? There's my phone. Mignon. 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 Something I do want to discuss, if only briefly, is this controversy around Netflix hosting of the film Cuties. If you didn't know, there was a big controversy, big depending on which circles you sort of read around on Twitter and social media. Cuties is a Sundance film festival, I, I believe it won an award, I will check that and put up a little overlay here, film which is about young female empowerment, it's like a coming of age story. However, the film depicts... <laughs> It's gross. Pre-teen girls who are twerking, dancing very erotically, sexually, engaging in behaviours that I don't think 11-year-old girls should behave in, and definitely that I don't think people should be filming. Does that make sense? The film's just basically a little bit gross based on the pure visuals alone. I'm not talking about story or anything like that. I'm all for female empowerment. I'm just not for watching 11 year old girls twerk on <laughs> in a film on Netflix. Lots of people decided that they would delete their Netflix accounts or cancel their Netflix subscriptions, and it was a bit of an uproar. So I was reading around the subject and I was listening to other people talk about this, and a journalist I follow, or a journalist I like to listen to, Tim Poole, linked this film to another cartoon on Netflix called Big Mouth and it's similar in the way that it depicts young children going through the sort of growing up phase and going through puberty and discovering sex and things like that but the one major difference is Big Mouth is a cartoon it's voiced entirely as far as I can tell by adult actors there's no involvement of children whatsoever in the creation of Big Mouth besides the cartoon characters that are depicted on screen whereas Cuties obviously they got these 11 year old actors to actually do the things that were being filmed. So they were actually twerking in front of the cameras and the crew, and it's just not nice. It's not nice to watch, regardless of the message of the film. You know, you don't have to be this explicit in the way you show things. You could make a film based on the same sort of coming of age story and the exploitation of young girls, but not show it explicitly on the screen. If you're trying to draw attention to the subject, don't become part of the problem. And when I was thinking about Big Mouth, it also led me to think about cartoons like South Park, because obviously South Park is a cartoon based around four young boys who are friends, and they get into all sorts of mischief. And there was one episode that came to mind specifically, which was when Cartman gets a an anal suppository. <laughs> which uh, I can't remember exactly the storyline, but the aliens trigger it and coming out of Cartman's ass is this massive satellite dish, which then, I don't know, sends information back to the alien overlords. On screen, you're seeing a child get an anal probe. <laughs> but it's Cartman. It's not realistic in the slightest. There were no children involved in the creation of this cartoon. You can see it's clearly marketed towards people who are older. The same, I think, can be said for Big Mouth. I don't think there's anybody sitting there 11 year old kids down watching Big Mouth on, the, on Netflix. Canceling Netflix. I haven't canceled my Netflix yet. I have considered it, but to be honest, I want to watch uh, <laughs> I want to watch Venom one more time before I do. And I've also got people that use my Netflix, oh, I shouldn't really say that maybe, who don't live in my household, but hush hush on that. Should Netflix remove cuties from their library? It, you know, it's a sensitive subject to discuss, but if there are people who enjoy watching young children behave in such a way, I find that to be a big problem. And if it's easily available on a streaming service like Netflix, and I have seen some of the clips from the from the, the film, and they're not nice. You know, I'm not gonna go as far as to say that it is child pornography because it isn't, but it's sort of, it's a gateway, you know? People who are interested in the more disgusting aspects of, well, it's all disgusting. <laughs> The whole thing is disgusting. But let's say the people who are interested in the more explicit aspects, Cuties provides a little bit of a taste of that. Recently, I made a video about TikTok, and this is linked to the reason I dislike TikTok. It is sexualizing young children. You constantly see young kids, specifically girls, doing actions and dances that they've got no business doing, and it's all for TikTok. It's all to put videos on TikTok to get likes from their friends, which is fine. I understand you want to engage in like the social aspect of your life as you're growing up, but you're also putting it out on a public platform where anybody can watch it and it just doesn't sit well with me. So I'll leave that there. Again, just a little look into my thoughts on the whole cutie situation. I don't like it. It's not right. It doesn't feel good to me. Please, by all means, let me know what you think underneath. Have you watched Big Mouth? I'm assuming many people have watched South Park. South Park's one of my favorite 
TV shows of all time. Let me know your thoughts underneath. This is like a discussion. These are just my opinions. By all means, agree with me, contradict me, do what you like in the comments. Thank you for watching. I hope that you got something from this video. You can find my website at www.olirossaphoto.com. You can follow me on Instagram at olirossaphoto, Twitter at olirossa. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I'll speak to you next time.